From WXII 12 News, this is Breaking News. Good afternoon. That breaking news is out of Randolph County. Deputies say they have arrested a man in the murder of a woman found under a bridge. 25 year old Juan Matoros Godoy is accused of killing Soledad Ortiz. Ortiz's body was found October 17th under a bridge near Lake Lucas near Ashboro. According to arrest warrants, Matamoros Godoy kidnapped Ortiz and shot and killed her. Investigators did not release how that suspect knew the victim. The Randolph County Sheriff's Office is expected to give us an update on the investigation at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Happening right now at noon, Winston-Salem police have identified a man shot and killed. They say they need your help finding his family. Officers say Mario or Mario Salinas Noyola was shot and killed at an apartment complex on North Cleveland Avenue. Investigators say he is a Mexican foreign national. Police have not been able to find his family. Detectives are working with the Mexican consulate to track down relatives. Officers are also trying to find four men seen speeding away in a white car. This is the 24th homicide in Winston-Salem this year. Also happening now, a Rockingham County man charged with hit and run is now accused of drug trafficking. Damon Blackwell is in the Rockingham County Jail under a near $2 million bond. Investigators found bags of marijuana, money and drug paraphernalia in his car. The sheriff's office says Blackwell hit a deputy's cruiser last Thursday on Grooms Road. Deputies tried to stop him after that crash, but Blackwell sped off. He ended up crashing into a tractor trailer on Highway 29. He was caught after a short foot chase. A three vehicle wreck snarls the morning commute. Now this happened at the I-40 and Business 40 merge in Guilford County. It's just past the Macy Grove Road exit. State troopers tell us two people went to the hospital with non critical injuries. No word on the cause of the wreck. It cleared up just before 930 this morning. Well, let's turn now.